a deeper understanding of time as a physical process and why we have an uncertain future could change our philosophy and even our spirituality take the story of the man born disabled with a club foot he goes to a spiritual teacher and asks why should i be born with this disability and the spiritual teacher looks up and says this is karma you must have kicked your mother in a previous life this simple story really highlights the type of philosophy that we can create if we have no fundamental understanding of the physical process that forms the future and the past with cause and effect if we don't understand the process that forms the moment of now and cause and effect with an uncertain future we can only make up stories based on our incomplete picture of reality or we can say that everything is consciousness and that physical reality is just an illusion either way we are left with something that is incomplete and feels wrong below the details of this video i have placed links to videos that explain the universe as a continuum based on a universal process of energy exchange this process is relative to the atoms of the periodic table with a built-in uncertainty that is formed by light interacting with the electron probability cloud that surrounds each atom in such a theory the wave particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons is forming a blank canvas that we can interact with forming the possible into the actual in this theory the future is continuously unfolding with each photon electron coupling or dipole moment relative to the energy and momentum of our actions in my other videos i explained how this can be based on the four fundamental forces of nature with different phase changes in matter changing how the process unfolds at different temperatures but in this video i want to challenge these ideas of philosophy by explaining a creative interactive process with the future unfolding relative to the energy and momentum of our own actions this can be in the form of art poetry music or even mathematics light has momentum and momentum is frame dependent therefore we have a process that will form reference frames with the momentum being a driving force with the past forming the potential for the future but consciousness is not part of this process conscious awareness always remains in the moment of now in the center of its own reference frame this theory explains this by explaining conscious awareness in its most simple form as electrical activity in the brain that is aware of its own electrical potential therefore conscious awareness is the most advanced part of a universal process of energy exchange and can comprehend this process as the passage or continuum of time in such a theory with a process of continuous energy exchange the past has gone forever and the future only exists as a probability wave function therefore only the moment of now exists relative to each individual and we can only define ourselves on what we are doing now not on something that might have happened before we were born we are all connected by one universal process with the oneness that the mystic feels in meditation being based on the same process that forms a unity of physics and mathematics life and death are an integral part of this process a person can only be certified dead if the electrical activity in the brain has stopped but as the old saying goes energy can neither be created nor destroyed rather it only transforms from one form to another and as the energy levels that form conscious awareness decrease the wavelength increases the maximum a wavelength could form 
is the size of the universe, or if the universe is infinite, like the electromagnetic spectrum, the wavelength will go to infinity. Based on such a process, we could say that life, that formed out of the potential infinite nature of the universe, will return to that infinity at the moment of death. Many people say that everything is consciousness, and that the physical universe is just an illusion. In many ways I do not disagree with them, in the sense that a static or non-dynamic universe is an illusion, because the spontaneous absorption and emission of light is forming a universal process of energy exchange that is continuously forming the ever-changing world of our everyday life. In many ways we have a living universe, with consciousness being the most advanced part of this universal process that everything is based upon, with electrical charge being an innate part of all matter. In this theory, we can have individuality based on the non-duality of one universal process, with the whole process being relative to each individual. But we lose an important aspect of reality that can make everything logical if we just say everything is consciousness, and then not try and explain how we can have the duality of individuality based on the oneness of non-duality. Please feel free to ask any questions you have. I will try to answer them the best I can. And please subscribe and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.